friends. I'm so glad you're watching. Got something really great tonight, really good, and it's chicken and dumplings. And everybody loves chicken and dumplings. And let me tell you, these are the best. They are so, so good, and they're so easy. I'll tell you what I did. All I did was take a package of chicken breast tenders and I boiled them in a large container of chicken broth. I put in there five spring onions. Um, I put garlic, I put uh, about a teaspoon of garlic powder. I put uh, salt and pepper, and I have been just tasting it as we go to see if it needs more. Um, also, I added a can of Lasur peas. If you do not like peas, you do not have to add that. I'll tell you, normally I would add celery and carrots to it chopped. I don't have any, so I'm somebody that uses what they got. <laughs> I do, I've always done that and it, and it works out great. And uh, so anyway, to make a long story short, you can make your dumplings. You guys have seen me made on my video. If you want to know how to make uh, dumplings, all you do is make biscuits and roll them out and cut them. And uh, that will make your dumplings. And when it comes to a rolling boil, after you've uh, taken your chicken pieces out and cut them up in small bite-sized pieces and put them back in the broth, after the chicken's good and tender, you can drop your uh, dumplings in there and like I said my biscuit recipe all you would do is just roll them out now the easy thing to do is to buy cheap biscuits <laughs> that works just as good and my mom used to use those and my mother would buy these cheap we call them cheap biscuits they're the store brand not the flaky kind not the fancy grand kind they're just the store kind of biscuits and just drop them in the boiling broth. And it's the same thing as if you had made them, you know, how I make biscuits, except you don't make the biscuits, you roll them out with a little flour and you cut them. This is easier, do this. <laughs> and so uh, you, just, you just boil them until they're done, which does not take very long, and this is delicious. And I'll tell you what else I put in it too, because I did not have any celery, but I had a can of cream of celery soup, which adds flavor, and it has celery in it. I put that in there. Normally I don't put that because I've got my celery and my carrots in there that I've sauteed. Anyway, before I uh, put my, my broth and everything in there, before I get going with it. Anyway, this is just a quick, easy way to make dumplings, and they are so delicious. My daughter, Lauren, it is her favorite thing. I think it's my daughter, Katie's favorite thing, too. <laughs> Both my girls were raised on this, and it is really, really good. And I'll just show you. And like I say, if you're just a, you know, want to make your dumplings, you can. But these are so good. And uh, you can put as many, you just open the biscuits and just drop them. Just, I just pinch them off in the boiling broth. And um, anyway, that's all there is to it. And it's so good. And I add, you know, plenty of salt, pepper, parsley. Uh, anyway, it's a great thing to do because it's hot when it's winter time. It's good and hot and comforting and easy to do. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week.